Welcome to this terminal lesson. Uh, I'm going to be showing you how to open pretty much all text files uh, with the nano text editor. So what you do is, I think I've showed you the nano command before, but I haven't showed you that it opens all of, basically all of the text files. So it won't run them, but it will open them and you can edit them. So I'll just CD to whoops, my desktop. Now, if I ls, you see I've just got uh, six files, all different file types. So this is a processing file, this is a C++ file, uh, CSS, uh, HTML, text file, and a Python file. So all you do is nano and then the name of the file. So, also, if you type B, so at the moment there's only one file with the name B in this directory, so you just, if you just hit tab, it's going to go there. So, uh, this is all the text in that file. If I wanted to run it, I'd have to go back into the other program. Like I said, it won't run it, but you can edit it in here. So, this is just a quick file I made, uh, but yeah, y you can edit it and it'll save it and everything like that. So to get out of it, just Control X. Uh, it might ask you if you want to save, and you just hit yes. But I didn't change anything, so it didn't ask me. And the nano main dot c plus uh, plus. This is just a hello world program. Control X. Uh, nano style sheet. Here we go. Here's just the CSS style sheet file. X nano into the HTML file. Uh, it is workable in actually. Uh, if like I've got the window fixed with the screen recorder I'm using, but if you like stretch this window out and make it a decent size, you could actually uh, do real typing. Oh my god, I can't even talk today. Uh, real like coding and stuff like that in a terminal window like this. I use Text Wrangler, but when I need to just quickly edit a file while I'm in the terminal, this is just as good. There's actually nothing more I can do in Text Wrangler that I use regularly that I can't do in here. So, the random. This is just a text file. Whoops. Nano. And random. So, what am I doing? Nano. And this is just the last one, the Python file. There we go. Uh, so, the next tutorial will be showing you how to open the Python file and get it to run, f like, within the terminal. So, But for now, uh, I think that's all I have. Uh, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.